See, this is a potential move that excites me and scares me all at the same time. Let's read the report straight from Mike Garofalo. He said veteran free agent linebacker Kyle Vinoy is visiting the Baltimore Ravens today. So Ravens say, hey, come here, buddy. Well, come here again, buddy, because they had him in the building earlier. And I thought for sure they were going to sign him. Especially with the injury to Tyus Bowser, that's when we really felt like, oh man, if they bring it in Kyle Vinoy, Tyus Bowser, he ain't gonna be right for a little minute. But anyway, says they had him in the building today, sources say it's the nine year veteran's second time meeting with the team, so the chances of a signing seem pretty high, especially given how banged up Baltimore is at linebacker right now. And that, that's the part. That worries me. Now, the exciting part is Kyle Vinoy. Kyle Vinoy is sort of like a veteran version of Tyus Bowser. You can use him in so many different ways. If you need him to rush the passer, okay, cool. Go ahead and do your thing. If you need him to drop back, okay, cool. Do your thing. He is sort of a jack-of-all-trades at the outside linebacker position. And, you know, with me, I, I want the Ravens to both keep everybody and get everybody. So with Kyle Vinoy, I would have no problem with this signing. And, and it would be exciting because it's like, all right, we would have somebody with very good experience that could come in and help the team right away. But, 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 but right there, that's the part that's concerning to me is because of how much help this team needs right away. And what I mean when I say that is we know Adafi away hurt. We know David Ajabo hurt. We know Tyus Bowser currently hurt. They are banged up right now, big time, at outside linebacker. They are very thin right now, big time, at outside linebacker. But what this tells me, if the Ravens are bringing him in, and, and Harbaugh described Odafe Away's injury as minor. So I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. We, we haven't gotten any word on David Ajabo yet. When Harbaugh was asked about some of the injuries yesterday, like Gus Edwards and Ajabo and everything in his presser yesterday, he talked about how uh, they're all going through an evaluation process right now. We, we're still figuring some things out right now with the extent of those injuries. But if the Baltimore Ravens are bringing in Kyle Vinoy now, they didn't bring him in before because to me, this doesn't tell me anything about Tyus Bowser. This doesn't say anything about Tyus Bowser to me. This speaks more to David, David Ajabo and Adafi Away, in my opinion. And that's the part that concerns me the most. Because that, it kind of tells me, hey, if they bringing him in now, because timing is everything. If they're bringing him in now, then that lets me know indirectly. Ho hey, hopefully I'll be wrong, though. Hopefully we can come back on here a couple hours in a couple hours after they sign him officially and I can be like, hey, my, my fault. Hey, y'all, I was wrong. But what this move potential move tells me with them bringing him in um, that either David Ajabo or Adafi away, the injury is a little more long term than expected. And that would be unfortunate. That's the part that scares me. That's the part that worries me. And the injuries with the Baltimore Ravens have been, it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy how they just continue to line up. This guy's hurt. That guy's hurt. This guy's hurt. That guy's hurt. This guy. And it just continues. It's, it's a nonstop thing. Like, when are we ever going to see a Baltimore Ravens team fully healthy? When? And it's, it's crazy because I remember week one of the season, it was like, oh, man, the only person who's not practicing for the Baltimore Ravens is Marlon Humphrey. We all looking at, around at each other like, what? That's great. Everybody's practice except Marlon Humphrey? Wow. Oh, man. This is the most healthy that we've been in the season. In long then after the game, boom, it started. Then after week two, boom, continued. Then after week three, boom. It continued, and this has been an ongoing process, and I know uh, a lot was brought up and talked about with it when it came to Steve Saunders as the strength and conditioning coach. All right, Ravens moved off from him, but they kept a lot of the same staff in place. They did hire some outside guys like uh, I think his name is Adrian Dixon who came from the, Texans, the, excuse me, the Titans, and he's a recovery specialist, so he helps guys uh, recover from injuries and come back the right way, but – there was still a lot of what the Ravens already had as far as strength and conditioning. It was a lot of what they already had still in the building from the previous regime. So while they did make some changes at the top, the foundation is still remained the same. And is it just strength and conditioning? I don't know what it is. I, I have no clue what it is. Some of y'all will know a lot more than me when it comes to that department. But the injuries, the consistent injuries year after year, after like this has been happening since... 2020 really 
Because 2019, overall, the Ravens were pretty healthy. Overall. Overall. They, they had little injuries here and there. But overall, they were pretty healthy. But 2020 came... 2021, 2022, and now already in 2023, we're dealing with so much. Now, granted, the, the positive that we keep talking about with these injuries is that most of these guys are expected to come back, but still. And I know Harbaugh did mention something yesterday in a presser. He talked about how with the injuries, uh, he said a lot of it is just guys getting piled up on. So he said it's just it's, it's football stuff. And I, I could tell, like, Harbaugh, like, yesterday, he just really was not in the mood. But with these injuries, it's still a, a, a very, very big concern. I know a lot of stuff is going on around the league as a whole. It's not just with the Baltimore Ravens, but with the Baltimore Ravens, it's a lot. And with Kyle Vinoy, I think he's being brought in because maybe somebody just – they're going to be out for a little while. I would not be surprised if we see somebody end up getting put on injury reserve today. I hope that doesn't happen. But it is a concern. Uh, in other news, the Ravens also, they, they're signing Josh Johnson to the 53-man roster. And that's something that Harbaugh talked about yesterday, too, that I was, I was concerned. I was like, what? Like, I, I didn't understand that because I, th- I would have thought, okay, they, they, it was expected they were, they, they were going to bring Josh Johnson back. Okay, cool. But I would have thought that they would have put him on the practice squad so you could save a roster spot for somebody. But I, I, I don't know. But maybe maybe they got like so many available roster spots because so many guys are hurt. Like even we saw in this past week in the game, like they didn't have to declare any inactives. All they had to do was count out everybody who couldn't play anyway because they were all hurt. So this thing has just it, it, it's, it's crazy, man. And something's got to give sooner or later to where the Ravens get this thing, this whole injury thing fixed but Kyle Vinoy them bringing him in I got no problem with that I like it I like the move well he ain't signed yet but I expect him to be signed by the end of today